What is up everybody, and welcome back to the Minecraft Damage Map series. So, this episode we have one coming in from MC by Seth, and he is actually sending in a sequel, The Three Keys Part 2. If you guys remember one of the, I think one of the first maps we played was called The Three Keys, and it was pretty good, and uh, now he's sending in a sequel, and he says it's supposed to be a lot better than the first one, and I always love, you know, playing sequels and giving them a shot. So if any of you guys who have had your, had your maps featured want to send me in a sequel, go right ahead. And, um, I'll check them out. So we have here, keep inventory. Great. Uh, no mob grief and mob loot off. Awesome. Okay, I also, I want to just make sure, because I've heard that... Okay, no, that, that's right. I just want to make sure that all these are right. Because sometimes people don't do well with command blocks. But, um, this is good. See, right in the beginning, you want to have keep inventory and no mob grief in your map. Because it just makes it so, you know, the player doesn't lose all their stuff or something like that. Rules and notes. You may break blocks, you may not craft. Always play on at least easy, never peaceful, we are on normal. Please click all the buttons of that. Difficulty of classes, from least to most difficult. One, swordsman, two, archer, three, mage, four, thief. You know which one I'm going to go for. Um, this map is designed to be more balanced than my first. This series has, let's see, now has 99% less parkour, yay! The 1% may or may not be rage-inducing. Boo, have luck, good ha- let's see, good luck, have fun, Young hero, map made by MC by Seth, a.k.a. Seth. All right, cool. Press to start your adventure. Let's see. Uh, you've just returned home from a long journey. Head back to your village. Okay. Oh, well, that's actually really cool. Oh, I like this. I like the architecture already. See, now, like, this looks like a, like a little fishing village or something, which is really nice. It, using, like, the normal NPC, like, you know, pre-rendered villages are okay, but, I don't know, like, they sometimes come across a little lazy. This actually looks, this looks like hand-built and, and really nice. A cool little fishing, fishing town. Um, yeah, I, w I would suggest, like, actually building your own villages instead of just using the rendered ones. But, to each his own, I guess. Uh, ooh, I see a sticking out command block. And then we got something here. Nothing, okay. I don't know where my house is. Maybe by the command block or something. These are just a bunch of shops all set up. And I see some obsidian. Oh, okay. And then a weird structure. All right, let's go... What is this? Oh, wall of text. All right, hold on. Let me get a drink of water before I read this. Ugh. Okay. Mm. Hey, Bat Clone. Welcome back. Let's see. No, I already messed it up. Hey, welcome back, Bat Clone. How'd your journey go? Listen, I was thinking, maybe it's time that you start your training as a warrior from the city. You've done well in your studies lately, and after the successful trip, I think you can handle it. Just in time, too. We started to see some patches of darkness in the earth. Oh, it's probably the obsidian. It's not bad yet, but we need to start worrying about it. Tell you what. How about you start by scouting out an enemy city's fortress? It should be an easy job. Oh, that sounds perfectly easy. And you'll get some good training. Uh, grab the gear next to me and get going to the coordinates next to the chest. Right. Those are the coordinates. Okay. So we're going to have to F3 our way there. That's all right. Um, let's take all the food. There we go. Yeah, you just go and, you know, go to the enemy's fortress and do some scouting. It'll be easy. You'll be fine. So let's see. We got a novice wand, beginner sword, spawner breaking pickaxe, some stake, and some torches, and then some beginner stuff. Sounds good. And thank you for not giving me all leather. Because all leather equals me dying no matter what. Okay, and what are the coordinates? Negative 175, 204. So that's negative 175 on the X. I assume, right? Negative 175 on the X and then 204 on the Z. Let me just jot that down real quick. I'll open up a little notepad so we can have those coordinates in case I get lost. Uh, what is it? Negative 175, 204. Okay. Negative 175, 204. Okay, those are jotted down. Now we can kind of just keep going. Um, it almost just looks like I just have to kind of go this way, which is just kind of following the darkness. Uh, let's see. Warning! Abandon mine! Want to go down? Why not? Let's check out. Maybe there's some nice loot. Do not enter unless directed by mayor. Okay, we actually did not. Wait, is this actually where we need to go? I don't think. I don't think so. But I mean, there's no like second quest or whatever by the mayor. Let's just go to the. Let's just go to the coordinates. Negative one seventy-five. So that's going this way. And then what is it? Two o four, right? Yes. So we're headed. We're headed this way, pretty much. I mean, as as soon as we see. And as soon as we see a giant fortress, which looks like that's that's definitely it. Oh, wow. I'm assuming that's going to... Holy freaking crap. 
Yeah, it'll be perfectly fine. You will be totally safe. It's 175, 204. Okay, yeah. Just trying to remember it. Just trying to, trying to remember it. Wow. Um. So, yeah. Speaking of giant fortresses, this. This, this right here, actually. Uh, ha, ha, ha. Uh, okay, wait. So, wait. Negative 175. How do we... That'd be over this way. And then two, 204? Yes. So, it's still going. No, it's... Wait, what? Am I... Where am I, where am I going exactly right now? I'm trying to get my X coordinates to go down. There we go. Okay. Uh, it looks like maybe it's just that chest guy right there. Negative... Oh, negative 175... 204. Found it! <laughs> okay. Hey, this is the fortress. Get to the top, and we'll beam you off. Good luck, and make sure you take note of, of all that you see in there. Objective, get to the top. Take these basic supplies. Screw this! Uh, what? What <laughs> What happened to just scouting it out? No, they want me to storm the freaking fortress. Alright. Oh, God. Oh, wait, no, I do. Okay, so I am just actually scouting it. I guess I'm just climbing to the top of it. Right. Get to the top of the fortress, and we'll beam you off. Okay. At least I don't have to... Or do I have to go inside? I don't know, let's just check what's inside. If it's a ton of stuff, then we're just leaving. Or it's nothing. Oh, actually, another stairs and junk. Um, <clears throat> maybe, maybe, I don't know, if we should travel this way or what. Oh, boy. Oh, great. Okay, yeah, we are. Okay, because there's broken ladder pieces. I could have just climbed up the side of it, but that, that would have not been right. Okay, uh, let's use the dirt, and then we can jump up here, and then, hold on, place a ladder. Ladder, ladder, ladder. There we go. I hear spiders. I hear spiders. Sorry if it's dark. I'm on bright settings, but I'll just have to use the torches that I was given. Creepy noises. This place is very creepy. This is actually really cool, though. It's a basic build, but, you know, for a fortress, it's not bad. Oh, cool. Vines. Oh, great. Mobs. Run! <laughs> uh, don't even worry about sp the spawners. I think they're going to be spawning off of... Uh oh, I just broke the vines. They're going to be spawning off of the ledges anyway. I'll just go up here. Oh, uh oh, oh god, oh god, oh. Oh, this is a little bit crap. Um, hold on. Hold on, please. Let me on this ladder. Okay. Ah! All right, we made it to the top. I believe. Yes, we did. Okay, good. Uh, what is this? TP down, or TP town. Do not press this button until you have read the signs. Uh, you know, they make these things called books now. Oh, this is where we choose a class. Okay, this is, I guess, a little, little like, pre-quest or something. Mayor, congrats, you scouted the building. How did he... What? How did I get up here? Yeah, just I was literally asking how, he did, how did he get up there. Uh, let's see, how did I get up here, you ask? Well, shush, because I'm doing the talking. Anyway, I've decided that you're ready to become an adventurer. Now, the first thing you'll need to do is pick your class. Go press the button under the class that you want. Choose well. Once you head back, let's see, once, well, once you're done, head back to town. There's a mine surrounded by some old fences that I need you to investigate. Take the mine cart you find down there and explore the mine. Good luck. Objective explore. All right, so that was the mine we saw. Uh, <clears throat> for, all, for all intents and purposes, let's go swordsman. There we go. Because that's, come on, it's the best It's the best way. It's the best way to play. And plus we have, it looks like we have some, you know, like we have a wand right there. So that's pretty good. Uh, and then we have a foot and steel now. So I guess we actually don't really need the wand, but the fire aspect one on the wand or on the sword is probably better. Okay, so good. Let's go explore the mine shaft now. Uh, where was that? It was over here, right? It was near the fences. Yep, over this way. Okay, this is this is good. So now, now we actually have a quest. Here we are. Now that we have the quest done for the for getting our class, we can kind of start role playing. Even though it's just me and there's no one else in my party, so I guess I can just roleplay the hero and kill everything and do everything myself. Alright, anyway, we're in, we're in, we're in down here. Oh yeah, aren't we supposed to be, like, mining emeralds or something? Was that this map? I don't even remember. I think it was. I don't, I don't remember exactly. I, I need to, like, watch the Three Keys video. Because he said I can break blocks, just not craft anything. I don't know, I'll, I'll collect any emeralds we see from now on. Oh, what, alright, here's the mine cart. To start, cart, hold button forward while, wait... Hold button forward while in cart. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It just, it just totally went out without me. Great. Bye, cart. Is it really just go down to there? No, I think it keeps going. Let's spawn in a cart because I just tapped it. <sighs> okay. 
Let's just quick, quick spawn in a cart. There we are. Okay, there we go. There we are. Okay. I accidentally just tapped it and it just kept going. Go! Oh, go, I say! Oh, I didn't know you can actually do that. You can actually, like, control minecarts now by, like, pressing forward. Whoa! What does it say? Something. I don't even know what that said. Oh, danger, does it say? That's not good. Something. I can't read all these. Uh-oh. Ooh. Okay. So we, we dropped and we hit that minecart. What are those? I wonder what those signs said. Whoa. Oh, I just got, like, vertigo. That was weird. I was looking up and I thought I was looking down. Whoa. Okay. Here we are. Secret ruins, I guess. <clears throat> we have three keys. Get it? <laughs> Get it? Because there's three keys. It's the name of the map. And... Oh, no! Explosion! I think that actually wasn't that bad. There we go. Nice. And we got some good old redstone. Wow. It is really hard to see right now. Okay, and I'm getting shot at. That's great. Is this like the source of the blackness or something? Holy crap. This is intensely low to the ground. Okay, can I even like light this up? Oh my god. What the hell? Uh, <clears throat> I, I don't know what this is, but I'm putting torches on it. Hopefully it's not alive, because that'd be really awkward. Where's like the entrance? What is this thing? This is like a black blob. Black blob. Uh, yep. Okay, I think that's it. Wait, is there anything up here? Oh, I, I don't know. It's so dark. I can't really tell. I don't know what this is, but I'm climbing all over it, and that's fun, right? Uh, <clears throat> okay, yeah, you, there's nowhere you can go up from there. Oh, my God. Let's go up a little bit so we can get a better picture of this. <laughs> I don't know what I'm really doing down here. Right, so that's that. That looks really all creepy and, and such. Uh, this is where I came from. Okay. Oh, man. I can't see is the thing. Is there any way I can make it so I can see? Can I, like, far render? No. <laughs> I literally can't see this. Uh, clouds off? No, that didn't do anything. <clears throat> okay. Well, how about we just circle around this thing? We'll circumnavigate it and see if there's any... Oh, come on, guys. See if there... Oh, come on. See if there's anything around here. Or if I maybe have to, oh god, maybe I have to do something with it, I don't know. Oh, here we are. Oh, diamond. Here we go. Okay, so yeah, there's some dark monstrosity thing there. Unknown, quick, press the button, hurry! Oh, okay, I, I made it. <laughs> Hooray? <laughs> oh, okay. I was like, where am I? And now your adventure really starts now. Um, okay, so I just got a sneak peek of the freaking black heart of the the whole world. That was scary. Set spawn. Thank you. Okay, let's see what's up here. What's going on up here? Oh, we got a pig. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Interesting. Can I enchant this? Yes, I can. Sharpness one. Hooray. Nice. Can we enchant our, let's enchant our gear. Why not? Enchant our iron chest plate with protection one. Our helmet. With protection... Wait, what is that? Prote projectile, and, ugh, projectile protection. Say that ten times fast. Okay, and then there we go. See, look at that. Now we're all souped up and ready to go. Sweet. Uh, what, so what is this? What, what are we going on here? Portal 1, Portal 2, Portal 3. Disclaimer. To avoid an entire room lined with signs, you might want to read this. Yeah, thank you. Because the, the signs were getting a little bit ridiculous. Is there anything to trade for? No. Okay. So let's read this. Hero! <sighs> Page one of seven. Sorry for suddenly ripping you away from your impending doom, but I figured you'd thank me later. So this was the unknown voice. Anyway, that giant blob that was creating those monsters, it's called the Darkness. I don't know if you've heard the tale of old, but the Darkness was originally created by a dark wizard to consume this world and plunge it into an internal, an eternal evil state. However, a warrior named Backlone quickly put an end to that. Oh, uh, who? Uh, forging a powerful weapon and sealing it behind a magical door locked by three keys. So I guess that was what we did last time, right? I think. Uh, <clears throat> then once the darkness had regained enough power to destroy the locks on the door, another hero rose, who may or may not have been the same person, and reinforced the locks on the door, sealing it once again. However, the locks are fading, uh, once more. Wait, yeah, okay, so wow, these locks suck. After reading through the, an let's see, the ancient texts, I am fairly sure that you are the hero who will once and for all destroy the darkness. So it's going to be back home three times, I think. 
It is your destiny! In order to accomplish this, however, you will need to find three keys spread around the land. Let's see, the darkness has sealed itself in its room while it gains power, so you must find the keys in order to force the door open. Uh, whereupon you can once and uh, for all rid this world of the darkness. On the right wall, I've opened three portals that lead to the three keys. However, you will need to defeat the three guardian area. Let's see, areas. Oh yeah, right. This was when didn't I like do this in the wrong order the last time or something? Protecting the keys in order to retrieve the keys. You will receive more information when the time is right. Go forward, hero. Rid this world of the darkness. Don't die. <laughs> really, don't. It will make things at least two times harder on me. All right. So there we go. There's our there's our basic quest. So we have to go get the three keys, heal the darkness away again. Sounds good. Portal 1. Here we are. Um, okay. Glad you can make it. That wizard guy has employed the help of my army in order to lay siege to this fortress. He said he'd be coming. Something about a key in Red's base. Where? I don't know. Good luck! So we have to siege a fortress. Again. Set spawn. Okay. First key, here I come! Wait. What, what's down here? What's up here? Wow! This is cool. <laughs> okay. Uh, I don't know where... I uh, okay, I guess we're just gonna... Is, okay, right, okay, I, I get what I'm doing now. This is like Blue's um, base, and then there's a red base over there. And then that's it. It looks like there's a, a watchtower or something there. Maybe that'll have some equipment or something. Let's go check that out first. Um, this is this is cool. I like, I like the architecture on this, because it has like... It almost has a character, how it... Oh, wow, that's a lot of enemies there. Oh, I thought the no griefing was on. What the hell happened? Um, is it? Can I like make it like day and not night? Uh, let's go and check what's up here first. Cause yeah, it has character where it's kind of basic, but um, it's it's not confusing and it's and it's kind of like it's not all all uh, fruity either. It's just kind of what it needs to be. But then it also is kind of cool. Like look at these like arches and stuff. It's it's pretty nice. I like it. I like it. That's what I'm trying to say. And this is kind of cool how. We have the three quests, um, very structured, uh, which is good in some of these maps. Um, okay, so anyway, yeah, let's go and get the first key from Red's base over there. Don't do it, man. Don't do it, man. Oh, stupid skeleton. Okay, we're fine. That red guy obviously is the one summoning these monsters, or it's the darkness summoning these monsters. One of the two. I don't like them. I don't like either one. Okay. Let's dodge these guys. Oh god. Oh god. And uh, head here. All right. Uh, so I feel like I'm in war. I need like, some epic war music as I dodge all the enemies and slash my sword around. So that's his watchtower. Okay. Let's go up here and get this first key. What do we have here? Oh, zombies! Great to combat me. What is this? Some kind of entrance or something? I don't know. Was this supposed to be here? <laughs> I'm not really sure. Maybe. Oh, yes, I, it looks like it. Oh, what is this? Lever 2, lever 1. Okay, so that's one thing we need to do. Let's go to the top of the tower first, because you can always go lower. I don't think you can really go higher than the top of the tower. Hey, get away, seed zombie! Those magical seeds that you carry. Oh, come on, die. I'm glad he gave me a diamond sword, because this thing would have been probably broken if it was anything else. Um, all right, red, where are you, red? Oh, crap. Let's go up one more floor. I guess you can always go higher. You can always reach higher. Reach for the stars. Oh, uh oh boy. Okay. What is this? Lever one. All right. So I found lever one. An explanation. Smiley face. That's good. Use this lever to open the door and access the area key. Okay. So we need t another lever, which I'm assuming is probably going to be the other, the opposite way from, I just got shot, from the, uh, from the area key door, I guess. Maybe. Maybe yes, maybe no. Not really sure. Uh, oh, chainmail zombie. Enchanted chainmail zombie. How nice. How nice and how rare. Die. Die. So the mob loot's off. That's kind of a funny command. I guess you could put that command on and then give your mobs, like, armor and stuff and not have to worry about, you know, the player picking it up. It's kind of a cool command to, to throw in the here. Alright, lever two. Found it. Explanation. Again. Is this going to be the same thing? Uh, yep. Okay. Sounds good. Alright. The combat, yeah, he did say he changed the combat and made it a little more even, and that's very true. I kind of, I mean, even though I'm using the easiest class right now, uh, it feels, it feels nice and, um, and, like, balanced. And I, I'm not, you know, it's not too hard, not too easy. It's right in the middle, and there's actually enough mobs. Combat's great. Great job so far. All right, let's click on these. Quests are also great, and the redstone's working, which is amazing. 
Okay, wow, what do we have? So, okay, different class rewards. That's neat. That's really neat. Why would a thief want perma wall? That's kind of cool. I almost want to play this as the thief, because he said the thief's the hardest, and the thief actually looks like it's kind of... Um, kind of, like, interesting to play as. But I'm playing as the normal, boring swordsman who just gets leggings. Lame! <laughs> okay, uh, I don't know. If you guys want to, if you guys want to play this yourself, it'll be in the description. Maybe play as the thief class. See if you can do it. Here we go. Lever. I guess it's the first key. Yep. Okay. You found the first key. Go quickly. Sounds good. TP to the wizard's tower. Uh, set spawn. Is this the, is this the tower that, yeah, this is the, tower that I saw the pig, right? What is this pig doing there? I'm not really sure. Okay. Is there anywhere I can place this key? Or no? Not really sure. Uh, oh, well, we have we have keep inventory on, so that'll be fine. Alright, so we'll do the other two next episode. I can kind of tell this is going to take some time to do, because it'll probably be, you know, Portal 2, Portal 3, and then, like, the final boss fight or something. Ooh, this is cool. But so far, this is awesome. This is actually really good. I like the combat. I like the... You know, the, it's a basic storyline, but it was kind of cool how he showed me, like, the, the, the black heart of darkness before we, uh, we kind of started. That's kind of like any, any video game where they show, like, the main bad guy in the beginning, and you don't really get to go, uh, fight him till the very end. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed, um, part two will be out on, let's see, today is Wednesday, so on next Monday, part two will be out. Uh, if you want to send me in your maps, just send me the link over PM. If you don't know how to send me your map, I will s just ask me how, and I'll send you over a little paragraph for instructions. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed, until next episode, I will see you all later.